Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about ice maintenance on your backyard rink. So you can start up a backyard rink with pretty much any regular household items that you have lying around. Uh, basic things are a garden hose, and you can start with just a spray nozzle. First, you have to fill the rink with the hose. You don't need the spray nozzle for that, but for maintaining it and getting a good surface, the spray nozzle works well. Uh, in between floodings, you want to uh, shut the water off at the house and then inside the house, and then drain the ho the the bib or the faucet outside the house each time. That way, it doesn't freeze on you. If it happens to freeze on you, a hair dryer works very well. It doesn't damage it like a blowtorch would at uh, defrosting the water line coming outside the house. So moving along, of course, uh, a standard snow shovel pusher works very well for clearing the ice. Uh, our next best step to clear quicker with just smaller amounts of snow up to usually about half the height. So you're talking maybe four to six inches at the most are these extra wide 36 inch wide shovels. They're a little more expensive, but just for clearing uh, snow that's accumulating from skating or anything else. So that works really well. Uh, another really great item for before each flood, you can shovel, but you don't get all the snow every time. So you get this industrial grade, super aggressive snow brush. Brush all the snow off the ice. Right now the ice is very shiny because I just did a flood, but you would use this to get all the snow off. It takes a little extra time, but you get a really nice smooth finish on the ice. Now, if you want to spend a little more money, I built this for about $30. It's a flooding wand. So I went through and, and plastic cement PVC pipe together. And you can see the holes, little one eighth holes all along the length. I've got an adapter down here for the hose and an on off valve. That way I can shut it off when I need to run all the way back to the house to shut the main water off and I don't leak water and you can actually burn a hole in your ice letting something sit for even as long as 30 seconds on the ice. So, so the key about this when you're using it is you build, you leave it at about that angle and you walk it, get it so you can adjust the water flow up here as well. So it's just a nice even walk but because these end caps raise it up off the ice a little bit. You just push a film of water about maybe three or four inches in front of you, and then it comes out as a solid film of water behind while you're walking. That works really well, so you get a nice even distribution of water. Another nice tool, again, you spend a little more money, but it absolutely helps you a lot, are these roof rakes. Any Canadian or American living in the northern states knows about these. You get the the snow load off your roof of your house or just to stop ice dams from happening. This one's a nice telescoping one. It costs $3 more, but it's absolutely worth the money. So the idea with this is early in the season when you only have a few inches of ice or even up to four or five inches of ice, if it snows on your rink, you can get out here without standing on the rink on the outside and you can pull all the snow off like that. And that's key because if it does snow on your rink with that much ice, you haven't had a finished layer yet, the water will actually seep up because the weight of the snow weighs down on the ice and the ice sinks and you end up with, with water coming up around the sides where it meets the boards. And then what happens is it comes in and floods and then not only do you have now a layer of slush on top of your ice, We've also got the snow you can't get rid of because the ice is too too thin to stand on to get rid of any of that. So if you can get out there, even if there is slush, and pull it off, that blanket of snow isn't there insulating. So it could be the difference at minus 10 Celsius from freezing your rink in two days solid to the ground. You're talking a foot of ice solid to the ground in two days in some spots down at my far end. It's, two, it's a foot, a little over a foot, 15 inches. And uh, it could be the difference between over a week waiting because the snow's insulating it or two days getting out and skating on it. So definitely a nice tool to have. Again, you don't need all these fancy extras like this. It just makes the job a lot easier. 
uh, hair dryers, all this sort of stuff is pretty easy to come by. Now, if we're doing little patches here and there, if you uh, don't want to do a full flood and get all the hoses out of that, I made this by drilling holes in the top of a cap of a windshield washer antifreeze bottle. Of course, I washed it out. But you fill it up with water, and then if there's little holes, get air pockets here. You can go in there, use this ice chipper, because those pockets are going to break up eventually once a skate hits it hard enough. And you can go in there and chisel them out, clean them out with the broom, pack them with snow, and then lightly sprinkle that in. If you just dump cups of water on it, the snow just gets saturated or splashes away. But with those little holes on there, it's more of a shower that goes on there. That can take as little as five minutes to patch a handful of holes. So I really hope this was helpful for you guys. Get out there and encourage everyone to get out and build their own backyard rink. I haven't gone into full detail about how to build a rink, but lots of videos out there about that. Might even do one next year when we're building the rink. We've got lights set up on ours. Half of them are on right now. I just haven't plugged in the other half. I bought a liner from Rink Master. Seems to be pretty decent, good price. Out of Guelph, Ontario. It shipped to my house a few hours away in just two days. So that was a pretty good deal. In our shed as well. I've got lighting that turns on once I get the extension cord plugged in. And uh, we've got matting in here with benches. Some old goalie equipment I picked up the other day. Some lawn chairs and some heaters. So yeah, nice little setup we've got here. Do some backyard pond hockey. And hopefully these tips I've given you help you out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share if you like the video.